Hi guys. <clears throat> hello, hello. Um, today's live, uh, which is day four of the twelve days of Christmas crafts, um, is going to be creating a paper Christmas light. Like the one that you see. Hi, I'm um, Amuk. Um, so, hi, Lori. I'm going to use 65 pound cardstock. Um, I love how the red, the red came out, by the way. Um, 65 pound cardstock and uh, glue. I am also going to be using. <clears throat> my uh, um, the cap or the base for the template uh, for the light bulb template so cap and then base um, and I will be using actually nine of these light bulb shapes so I have six here I need three more <clears throat> I am not feeling 100%, so I apologize if my voice is a bit, um, sounds a bit off or congested or I don't know. To Cutter Josh did not. So, <clears throat> uh, since I'm using my own template, um, I'm going to be skipping using a bone folder, but if you're using, um, like a shape that you created basically you will probably need to use a bone folder or a ruler or like a scraping tool to facilitate uh, folding or bending the light bulb shape in half hello from japan hello she um otherwise like i said if you have my template it has that perforated line in the middle which as you can see makes it really easy to fold so um But yeah, I have been making these for a while now um, and I finally figured out a way to like apply uh, glitter where the glitter will actually show <laughs> um, and it will stay. I mean, it is glitter and there will be some shedding um it will also get messy uh when you apply it <clears throat> but it's a risk that i took and i'm okay with so now you don't have to use glitter um here's an example of a beautiful light bulb that has no glitter and i think it's just as beautiful but uh you know of course Personally, I, you know, can't resist a little bit of glitter, and so I went for it. But, you know, feel free to skip it if you're crafting along or if you decide to try this project out. Um, so, my next step is to um, apply glue in the center so you're gonna pick a spot you know as close to the center as you can or like you can get really specific and like measure it out um, personally i like to use this perforated lines as a guide so i have one two three four five on the fifth one is where i like to add that dot of glue um so well, it's not really a dot of glue. Actually, I take that back. It's more of a, like a line. Um, and uh, you can use the glue of your choice. I'm going to go with hot glue. Oh, man. Of course, I don't have any hot glue sticks. Let me go grab one. And 
Here's my stick. <clears throat> Hello, Diana's art journal. Um, so let me put a new glue stick and try that again. So I said on the fifth perforated like line, that's where I'm going to apply my glue and then close the shape. And I will repeat that for all my shapes. And I think this is my um, third variation. I'm still using the same exact template, my light bulb template um, that I've been using since last year. I'm just showing you guys different ways to uh, fold the shapes and to create that 3D look. Um, so in the video today, it was just the, uh, the the lines going straight down. So I would apply the glue here, use a different technique, different number of elements. Um, and then um, I showed you guys this technique where um, I did the glitter glue and it was like a one-sided paper the glitter glue i mean the glitter paper the glitter cardstock with the one-sided um and so yeah there's a few basically different videos um all using a different few a uh, few different variations but all using the same template so if you have the light bulb template you are good And so now that we have my closed shot our template, um, our layers, we're going to now apply glue on the sides, so here and here, um, and then attach these layers to each other, stacking them right on top of each other. And then making any micro adjustments to make sure they're stacked. Um, one thing is um, that you may have noticed too, but as I apply my glue, I try to stay away from the edge uh, because when I push down and stack my layers, I don't want the glue to come out and then create any imperfections. So. That is the reason. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, this is my fourth day, day four. Yep, um, December 4th. So it's day four of my uh, December series, 12 days of Christmas crafts. So I will go live basically the first 12 days of Christmas making Christmas related paper crafts I have made so far the um, peppermint candy sunflower the checkered flower the checkered like the retro checkered um, and the sunflower the peppermint sunflower I did that in two sessions so this is my third project for this series and day four okay so once I've added all of my layers then I will be switching my glue um, and this is the part that <laughs> I'm still kind of new Added. I mean, as you guys can see, I've only done three of these. I've only 
added glitter to three of my light bulb shapes um and yeah so anyway i'm gonna switch glues i'm gonna switch to my liquid glue craft glue and i'm going to hope for the best <laughs> i'm gonna hope that it comes out like these other three Here we go. So, um, so far you guys have seen me... Uh, actually, no, I take it back. You guys have seen me, yeah. You have seen me do the half. This is technically a half a shape, right? Um, because it's flat. Um... If you wanted to create an ornament or even a garland where you wanted a 360 uh, ornament, like a 3D, a three-dimensional, and um, like a 360 design, basically, you would just uh, bring these two sides together, continue gluing with the same pattern, so one line or one little dot here and then one here, and bring this together. You could also add more layers so more than nine i would probably double this up because personally i like the spacing uh, between the layers so that's what i would do i would just add nine more to create a whole um oval shape that is 360. um in this case I'm working on a garland, like I said, and I want it to be like flush against the wall. Um, so this shape works out perfectly. So now I'm going to, like I said, switch to my Barely Arts Craft Glue. Hi, Yagamil. Wait, hold on. Did I do nine? Other page, Josh thought did not. Yeah, I did. And uh, so here I'm going to try to act really fast, uh, as fast as I can, because I am going to do something crazy. Uh, which, as I was doing, I'm like, well, anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to add glue, a bunch of glue here, ch -ch -ch -ch, cover this up, and then I'm going to open it back up so that I actually don't shut close shot all of these layers um and then from there i will proceed with my glitter but let me grab my glitter bring it close to me um, da -da -da -da. i will be using this uh, extra fine glitter from recollections i got this one at michael's my local craft store it's very fine it's gold um, it's a beautiful gold color. I think it goes really, really well with this uh, cream, creamy cardstock. Um, it looks also just as gorgeous on the red um, and on the green as well. Uh, these are all the colors that I've tried so far. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, so it's about to get messy here because I'm going to be throwing glitter and then you know doing all sorts all sorts of things uh, so enjoy <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna try to act fast again because i don't want to close my ornament i don't want the glue to dry Okay, so now I'm going to open this back up. Okay, and then bring the pieces as close to each other, you know, as possible without them touching each other. And then just shake, shake, shake. And 
that looks good you can also for example there's not much glue here so i can go back add some more glue to certain spots that did not catch as much glitter for me it's pretty much pretty much basically on the outsides um in with your glitter so as you can see and as you can imagine this <laughs> extra fine glitter is gonna go everywhere but you know it's worth it you know at least to me so then I'm gonna shake it shake off any extras and uh, then I'm just gonna let it dry now I could continue like to add more and what I did last night I would like gather all of this extra glitter that has fought that have fallen and uh, I was just like dipping kind of the pattern or the pattern I mean the the ornament but here where obviously the patterns are because that's that's what I'm trying to that's where I'm trying to add the glitter so I did this too, you can do this if you want to add more glitter, if you're not satisfied <laughs> with the amount of glitter. So you can see it picked up a bit more. And there we go, it looks really pretty. I love this cream and gold glitter combo there we go so yeah i think i'm happy with the amount of glue and glitter i mean <laughs> the amount of glue and glitter i guess both so i'm gonna let this dry for a bit what do you guys think i think it came out really nice um, and yeah, now it's all over my desk, <laughs> my hands, sticking to my hands, um, but, you know, it's not a big deal. So, <clears throat> next, my next step is going to be to add a little base, and of course this top piece, which is like the cap of the, um, light bulb so i'm gonna add a little bit of glue up here because this is where i'm gonna add the cap thanks guys thanks for the hearts the sweet words very nice you all are always very nice to me appreciate you guys um so there it is the cap <laughs> now my template comes with two layers uh, so the cap is like it has like this solid layer and then this one on top which is this um, and so you can use both you can just use one uh, like I'm doing here it's up to you um, and yeah now I'm going to apply some glue to the base I'm going to continue with hot glue and get the sides here and then typically I would let my ornament dry a little bit more but did I say ornament I guess this could also be ornament for sure um, Flip it. And there you go. There you have it. I'm going to let this dry a little bit more. But yeah, other than that, that's it. This is how you make a honeycomb light bulb made entirely with paper. Well, of course, with some glue and glitter. Um, and yeah, I'm planning to add these to a garland 
But again, just to show you guys, if you were to put two of them together, then it would create like a full 3D and then you could use this as an ornament. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a garland and I can't wait to show you guys the final results. I'm gonna add some more blue, uh, not blues, some more greens, reds and creams to finish off my garland. Um, but yeah, this is it for today. Uh, day four was pretty easy. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And I will be back tomorrow with another live. So have a great rest of your evening, a great rest of your day, wherever you are. And happy crafting. Bye.